Hi, I'm going to show you how to do file transfer to and from transit using a graphical tool where transit is a service by Upmax um, so it can send files from different computer clusters for example but it's a bit more complex than just that I will show you instead how to upload files to transit using a graphical tool but then I'll be demonstrating that transit is like a post box um, so you'll see that I will upload files and they will vanish. After that I will upload the same files again, but then directly send them to Rackham, which is one of the Max clusters, you could use any other cluster, um, and then you'll see that it will stay there. All right. So let's first upload the files to Transit. And for that I'll be using the standard Upmax documentation, I'll be using a graphical tool, uh, and that tool is called FileZilla. Um, and what I'll be doing, I will just follow these instructions. Instruction 1, get inside SUNET. So I'm outside of the university network, so I need to use a VPN. So here I use my Uppsala University um, VPN provider to do that. Um, so my Uppsala University password, I have to type it in now. There you go, and now I have an IP address that seems to be inside of the university networks. Next step is to start FileZilla. Let's do that. Step 3, from the menu select File Site Manager, click on New Site, create a name for the site, and set up the site like this. I'm going to all and connect. I will do all this in just one step. I will be asked for my password too, and then I can transfer files between local and transit. And you'll see that again transit is not a file server so I will um, they, se they seem to end up in a transit home folder but when closing FileZilla the files will be gone. I'll be showing you this, that, this first then I'll be showing you how to transfer those files how to forward those files to Rackham. Alright, but um, like setting up, let's do that first um, yeah, so we need to create in FileZilla. We need to do this for File Site Manager. Oh, I'm going to make it from scratch. So we're going to create a new site. I call it Transit. There, the host uh, it needs to be an SFTP server. The host is transit.upmax.uu.se. My Upmax username is Richel and I can just directly connect. Now I need to give my Upmax password without two-factor authentication, so just my Upmax password. I'll type it in now. There, and now I have access to Transit. And let's take a look if there's a file that we can copy here. We have a file called Transit Demo. We see it's not on transit yet, so I'm going to upload it. Upload. And now the file is on transit. However, if I transit is not a file server. If I close FileZilla now, it will disappear. And I will show you now. So, so I've closed FileZilla. I will open FileZilla again. I will connect to transit again. I need to type in my password again. And now you'll see that this file called transit demo is not on transit anymore. There. That is because transit is not the file server. If I upload this file, it will only be there as long I have this connection open. So this brings me to the next step of this demonstration. Um, to upload those files, I already did that. I applied the, the, uploaded the file again, and I'm going to send this to Rackham. And for this, I'll be using Upmax documentation too. So this is again the file, uh, the, the page about file transfer to from transusing a graphical tool. At the bottom, it says Rackham file transfer using transit. That's a page that exists, and there are multiple ways to get your files from transit to Rackham. And Rackham is a HPC cluster from Upmax too. I'll be using SCP, uh, but both both ways are just fine. It's in the terminal, both of them. 
uh, I just like SCP uh, uh, better. So to use SCP we need to log in to Rackham. And um, but what you can use you can log into either Rackham or you can log into Transit. I'll be using logging into Rackham. Um, because well, you can do both ways, it's equivalent. So we need to get inside SUNET, we are that. We use a terminal to log into Rackham, we can do that. SSH reshell at Rackham dot upmax dot uu dot se reshell SSH reshell at Rackham dot upmax dot uu dot se So sometimes the um, the VPN thing stops, so I'll just try it again. Because again, you need to be in SUNET. So now I am on Rackham, uh, on the Rackham login node to be precise. And if I do ls, we don't see the file that we're transferring. So let's take a look on FileZilla. The file is called transitdemo.txt. And we don't see it now because it would be somewhere like it would be here. So to get it on Rackham, we have to use SCP. Uh, ah, and this is to this is to copy files from from Rackham to Transit. I'm gonna copy. I'm just gonna use the other way around. I'm gonna do SCP. I'm gonna use the file transit transit dot upmax upmax dot uu dot se I'm gonna copy a file that's on the transit server it's in home ratio slash and then the name of the file what was it transit demo transit demo so I'm gonna copy this file that is on the transit server in my home folder this needs to be the location of the file and now I need to copy it somewhere here on Rackham. Using dot means, well, just copy it to here. I do this, I need to give him my password. And then the file will be copied to my Rackham uh, home folder. So there we have it, transit demo. There, it's there. Um, now I'll be closing FileZilla again. Um, and you'll see that it, uh, that it's, that it's, it, it will still persist. So I close FileZilla, I'm going to go back to Rackham again and show it's still there. Because it's like a post box, we have forwarded it to Rackham and in that way um, we have delivered the actual file. So in this demo, I this may be, there were direct ways to transfer files locally from uh, your local computer to Rackham. There are easier ways to do this, but this way is very flexible to get files from tr from transit. You can get files to all the HPC clusters and upmax and uh, many more. So here I've showed you how to do data transfer to and from transit and Rackham using a graphical tool and SCP together. I wish you a very good day. Bye!